happening. Welcome Virgos or welcome back Virgos to your end of May reading with myself, Rachel Navy, aka Velagia Strega. Now guys, this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. It will not resonate for everyone, so keep what does and leave the rest, but there's always an opportunity uh, to learn something or to have some sort of counsel, even if you're watching for cross-watching for somebody else here uh, within the reading. Doing Celtic cross style for you guys, and then clarifying that up with another deck for the the five clarifiers, which kind of reiterate the re reading. Yep smudging charcoal on my thumb don't mind me uh and then i'll grab three more just to see what else uh needs to be highlighted about the reading itself and of course i will get an archangel card for you guys so that said virgo you're starting out with your subject matter as it looks like the four of wands energy so that's celebration of anticipation of change i'm curious here as to what the what the challenge is going to be in relation to that and i think for 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 this reading for you guys i think i'll i'll leave it like this so you can see how the cards come out much like that aha that's what it is got a page there waiting on some messages how to make a change and uh this is my outdoor space here guys i'm in kind of a canopy in the backyard but i absolutely must be outside as long as that heat isn't getting to me too much uh when the weather allows especially when you live in vermont and the sunlight's really low in winter i take every opportunity i can to be outside love that fresh air my garden's actually right here in front of me. So don't be surprised uh, if you see the ducks parade or the chickens kind of wander through uh, throughout the re reading. As long as they stay out of my garden, I'm happy. But they don't. <laughs> I've got to put a fence up for sure. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, uh -uh. I'll take you guys back. Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Yes. King of Wands. King of Swords. Alright, alright, alright. Let's talk. I'm just going to clarify these up. For those of you who don't know my reading style, I do take flippers and jumpers. And I'm looking for a confirmation through my hands. If it's a yes, it kind of heats up under them. If it's a no, it remains cold and none of these guys are coming our way. So, let's see. We'll shuffle again. See what we get. There it is. Okay. There we go. Alright. Enjoy the view for sure. <sighs> okay. Here's what you're celebrating, right? You got all these ideas, all these actions, all that something. I want to do it. I want to do it. I can't wait to do it. But you're sitting on it still. Uh, messages are coming in with the Page of Wands. So there may be an opportunity to kind of like filter through which idea is going to be better or, or which action to take is going to be better for you than another. But the problem sometimes with the Page of Wands energy is he has all these ideas. He has so much potential uh, to for for whatever it is to pursue what he's passionate about to per whether it's a dream whether it's a job like whatever it is whatever creative spark it is that sometimes he lacks the performance so with that in mind it's kind of like yes thoughts become things but make sure you're getting a little extra help as to kind of filtering out what uh, might be more prosperous or more you're more passionate about versus another uh when you're making these changes here towards the end of the month they're virgos once your hopes, dreams, destiny, as it was, card is the Two of Cups energy. This is a lovely energy, especially if you're coupled up or you're hoping to be coupled up. This could be you calling in your soulmate energy, calling in your twin flame. But for many of you, this is a relationship, a union of sorts, uh, an emotionally satisfying one, but it's seen its share of hard times already. Uh, this is the, what if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger kind of couples. Couples energy for sure, often there's a Hermes or a Mercury energy attached to it, but it is a union nonetheless. You're looking for some sort of emotionally fulfilling union, uh, as it were, for many of you. Your distant past is the Knight of Cups energy. Knight of Cups is that ideal lover, right? Uh, he's emotionally satisfying. He's emotionally savvy because he's got a little bit, bit of experience under his belt. Usually under the age of 35, though, uh, with this sort of 
of energy for you Virgos. Uh, but he knows how to keep things in balance. He's he he's really a sweetheart energy. That's why he's the ideal lover. He's very romantic. Uh, in more recent past, you could have started a new employment situation, or you could have like come into some sort of money more recently because we had the Ace of Pentacles out. That's happen usually happens when the divine's like, here's a little nudge for the right direction and to give you some money, or if you're looking to make more money than you were, it's a new opportunity for sure for many of you that you may have already walked down the path of. In the near future, I have the Ten of Cups energy. Ten of Cups is that union that that celebration as it were for often for couples or for family members or even individuals who are, have just gone through a really hard struggle especially when it comes to matters of the heart or dealing with their emotions and this is that that period of when okay the struggles over and we can celebrate now again seeing that celebration come up with that four of wands energy as well it's kind of like yay I did it kind of energy or we did it whatever it was and um, so that that cause for celebration and sharing in that joy selling sharing that merriment is really important where are you at with your attitude you got hanged man energy hanged man spiritual awakening for sure uh it's the energy of your hands are tied at the moment for a reason so so there is no forward action which could be why this page of wands is out is because things haven't been quite cleared up yet so you're about to go through that spiritual awakening divine steps in and is like i'm going to help you get on the right path but i need you to just D breathe deep and pause for a moment kind of energy and you may or may not be aware of that here uh, with your attitude uh, in regards to your attitude about things here uh, Virgos you have the page of swords in reverse uh, for your external influences so those are people situations environments uh, that are supporting you or, or or pertinent to where the rest of this month is heading and reminder here Mercury is going into retrograde uh, here in another, in another few days even page of swords upright you're ready to take action you're making plans but things haven't quite been realized uh, page of swords in reverse is whatever it is you're hoping for right uh, again you're, you're on pause on some of this but you're but you're looking forward to this change right whatever it is that you're hoping for uh, or you're making plans for as it were here uh, Virgos the universe just isn't ready yet so so there's gonna be a little bit of a delay this is delayed energy delayed messages coming in don't give up hope uh, stay optimistic right fake it till you make it energy definitely uh, it is gonna work out it is gonna be okay because there's definitely some some money and and more advancement coming your way especially if you're considering going to to higher educational learning uh, your your inner emotions is the king of swords king of swords is an excellent communicator very intelligent uh, very keen sense of strategy wisdom communication for sure uh, but he can be a little bit cold at times he can be a little bit uh, barbaric in nature even he's not this way right now he is upright so he is willing to transform that energy air sign as it were uh, he is willing to uh, to talk things out um, but but again can be a little bit cold in in the approach kind of like a tough love energy about him which may be pertinent to your inner emotions at this time overall energy you're wondering when shit's just gonna pay off like i said you may be headed you may be considering like a higher higher level of learning here definitely some new uh some romance some some maybe uh finance from employment situation eight of pentacles energy is summarizing this this all so far by indicating like you're working hard to perfect a skill trade or craft uh, maybe it's maybe it's not whether you're going back to school in the fall kind of thing and more or even the summer maybe it's like okay I got I got a couple more semesters to go that kind of energy is really what I'm picking up in this uh, if it's not college or higher learning that you're seeking it's employment in and of itself some of you may be owning your own business here and or have may have may have taken a new employment uh, situation or opportunity that you're like okay I, I really thought I'd be making more money than I am and I'm working really really hard to to learn this new something or to perfect what I've been doing uh, hang in there a little bit longer it is going to pay off in the long run let's see who am i clarifying with i am clarifying the five with tarot mucha uh tattoo tarot eight coins tattoo tarot uh deck for the initial 
uh, Celtic Cross. For those of you who are interested, there's that Abundance card. I like that a lot. I like seeing the Ten of Pentacles out, Virgos. You guys should too. It's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, which means it's an Earth sign. Got the Aquarius card energy of the Star card and the Hierophant. Okay. Oh, wait. Two more. And two more with this deck. And the Eight of Swords. Not surprised to see that either. One more, please. And the Chariot card. Remember again, Major Arcanas are the, the, the real meat of the reading, as it were. This is beautiful energy. Why? Because it's stable. It's secure. It's your foundation you're looking at here, uh, Virgos. You may have inherited something. You may have gotten lucky with regards to some sort of financial situation. But it comes with a little experiential knowledge with it. So beautiful energy to have. Uh, one of my favorite cards in the deck for sure because the hard times are over. Uh, this is that luck and abundance that's headed your way with the Ten of Pentacles. Your next card out was the Aquarius or the Star card. Your place in the universe. What makes you unique? Uh, could be dealing with an Aquarius for sure it could be a reflection of what you're doing <clears throat> pardon me for either employment or the relationships you're having I just gotta take a sip of water here <coughs> pardon me um or the commitments you're making and I say commitments you're making because of this hierophant energy here star card is indeed the how, how you shine like what makes you shine what do you what do you aspire how do you inspire uh what are your hopes and dreams and of course this higher higher fin energy is that higher commitment to it whether it's your education whether it's your re relationships <coughs> whether it's pursuing what you're passionate about how do you commit to it or are you seeking an authentic teacher uh could be the other aspect to that component to that get out of your hand space though stop doubting yourself here uh virgos is what the eight of swords is telling me it's like you 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 you're stalling this page of page of wands again and the, and the hanged man energy, whether it's you or the divine that's stalling the situation or stalling the forward movement, uh, again, fake it till you make it is really the energy I really want to hone in on or I'm channeling for this reading for you guys. Because if you're not believing in it, then why should the universe, right? Why should Joe Schmo down the street <laughs> care if, if you're going to be successful or not? You have to believe in your own success. <coughs> pardon me for sure here virgos and of course success it is success it is right by the end of the month you're like oh that's how i got here you have this moment of pause this moment of reflection where where the the sphinxes have have rested and you've won something you've been victorious in something because you made a decision that brought you this success you put took the actions not the divine the divine made us said wait a minute give me a chance here we'll let the universe catch up on what it is you're asking for what it is you're wishing about and uh, like I said there may be a delay in all of this but you've got the plan in place you're the one who initiated these plans so success it is and it's a moment of pause when you realize okay I've weighed this out this is the the course I took I chose to take in order to achieve this success really a beautiful energy I'm going to pull three more from the Golden Art Nouveau. These are both Los Carabello decks. Okay, we've got the Judgment in Reverse. Beautiful. We're still working on it. Okay. The, that's why. All right, upright or reverse, please. That's what I thought. Upright. Upright or reverse. Upright. And then one more with the chariot card energy again. Okay, so Queen of Cups, Judgment card energy, and the chariot card all upright correctly. Judgment card energy is about us letting go of our self criticism or how we criticize others in a certain situation it could also be legal matters but judgments are indeed in your favor so let go again of all that negative self-talk here virgos is what this is saying so that way you can be successful we have the chariot card out twice uh, major arcanas are present 
The next one is your Queen of Cups. Uh, I really love her energy. Uh, she's that compassionate listener. She's She's got a lot of wisdom, a lot of intuitive energy, psychic herself, very emotionally grounded, very stable, kind of like the mother, the friend, the grandmother, the counselor, some sort of advisor. Uh, she's always willing to lend an ear and always willing to be supportive. I hope this is someone either coming in for you to, to help you kind of figure this all out and direction you want to head along the way or in dealing with your new employment situation business whatever it is uh, fortune as it were but uh, she's really a lovely energy that both have for yourself or to have around you and again here's that chariot card energy uh, indicating okay there's a success here there's a victory at hand uh, the moment of when you realize wait a minute this is what the choices I made the reflection you have of the pros and cons of how you got here the sphinxes at rest fully in balance waiting for your command to to say hey what's next what's the next forward motion uh for virgos as it were i'm going to take an archangel card and if you haven't already guys please don't forget to like and subscribe because i do love being in your energy i do wish to come back here and share some more of the hills of vermont with you as it were or, or the duck parade which seems to have to have wandered on now uh, let's see. What do we got? We got two. Okay. Spread your wings and you know what to do. These are perfect. Do not hold back, Virgo, right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to start. Say yes. That's what that indicates to me. Say yes. You get that intuitive nudge. You get that job offer. Say yes to it. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Blessed be. Two messages are saying the same thing. Truly. Virgos, blessed be and best of luck to you all, guys. Take care.